Hello everybody. Um, I hope everybody's well and okay. I just thought as a change today and with it being winter I'd make some homemade soup. So I'm getting everything ready to put in the soup. So I've decided today to make some mushroom mushroom soup. So um I've got my leeks, I've got sweet potato, sweet potato's good in soup as well, and I've got some mushrooms, so hopefully it'll be good, and I've got my vegetable stock. Even though um, Richard is a meat eater, he will, he will eat homemade soup without meat in it, so... So there you go. I suppose in his own little way, is it he is helping the planet as well. So I'm going to start chopping my vegetables. My leeks. You should always wash them first. Okay. So cut them through the slit, just like this, and then it's all like. Well, I suppose it's like a boot that, and then we just run it under the tap and make sure that everything is clean to use. So when you're quite satisfied, you feel like everything's clean and we just put it up as you would any normal vegetable. So I've decided to use two leaves. I've made plenty of soups in the past, homemade soups, and they've always been a success. So, um, I just thought I'd start doing it. It is winter, and it's, you know, it, it's really cold as well. And in a lot of ways, using veg is good for the environment. So, check out your fridges and see what veg you've got you know sort of like carrots you can make an amazing carrot soup um carrot and coriander soup if you've got the herbs i might even put some garlic in this soup because i've got some garlic in the fridge so i'll do the other leek too Chop these ends off first because they look a little bit. And I'll looks like I did with the other one, but there is a tiny bit of can you see how that's on the turn? So it does need to reuse this leak, so I'm throwing these bits away. And just like the other one, I'll um, I'll wash it just like the other one. Okay. Yeah. So, for flavours <clears throat> and to put your vegetables in a pan when they're heating up, um, with soup, <laughs> I know it is a little bit naughty, but for flavour, I do 
sometimes use butter. It's either butter or olive oil. Well, for taste, I do use butter. I'm ashamed to say, but but I bet a lot of people do. So I'll just put the. I'm using this nice big pan. So use a spoon for to scoop this to to scoop this butter out. Right. And the butter should melt more or less straight away. So this time really it is about the taste. Um, Richard's all right, he's just eating his breakfast. So I'm just waiting for that butter to, to melt. So while that butter's melting, I can concentrate on the mushrooms. These also have to be washed. I can hear the butter sizzling now. I'll turn it down a tiny, tiny bit. I'll open the window too. Because it does get steamy in here when I do cook, so. Oh, hey Richard. Hey Ronnie. So, can, have you finished with your bowl? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah you, you give that a rinse. Wash that. Right, the butter's nearly melted. So, and Richard's alright, as you can see. So, I'll put my leeks in. You just nip past. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll set for this one. This for Richard. I cook and he will try my cooking, which is really nice. <laughs> Even if it is vegetables. Uh, for some reason, he does have a problem with. Um, With salad vegetables so it's no picnic to get him to eat salad vegetables they'll only eat it hidden in a sandwich oh is that for me is that my present thank you yeah. <laughs> <Merry> <laughs> <Christmas>. <laughs> so it has gone on the floor a tiny tiny bit my uh <laughs> some spring onions but not spring onions, sorry. So I'll start cooking, cutting these up, these mushrooms, and then I can throw these in too. So I'll... I'm sorry, I've not got <laughs> much of a kitchen, to be honest. Um, but I am doing my best. So I'm just cutting these up. They have just been washed. So they should be absolutely fine. So I always choose the chestnut mushrooms, you know, with the um, vitamin D. I always choose those. And at least we know we've got some vitamin D going in, into us. Which is um, vitamin D you get from the sun the sunshine, which, <laughs> do you know, I've been for blood tests and vitamin D apparently there's a whole problem in the UK saying that everybody 
is vitamin D deficient. It must be because of the lack in sun. Because we're lucky us, even in in the um, summer, we're lucky if we get any any sunshine. I'd say overall we get sunshine at the most two to three weeks in a year and that's it. Now these mushrooms are a little bit ripe but I think that adds to the taste of pouring them into a soup or a stew or whatever you want. So I'll put these in there. So they're now boiling. Now my sweet potatoes I'm going to put up now. So I can either use fresh garlic, what I've got in the fridge, or I can use um, garlic herb, what I've got on the rack over there. I said I'd, I'd show you that garlic rack, that's the herb rack, and I've still not done it. I've got a feeling this person is going to watch this video, but I got, I actually did a video and I deleted it. <laughs> because I, I cast doubt in my mind. <laughs> uh, it's making me laugh now thinking about it. But it was a few weeks ago, you know, when I did the baked bean breville. I'll, I'll have to tidy this up. Excuse me. I'll talk to you while I'm tidy and sweeping up. You know the baked bean bread bowl? What I did with baked beans? <laughs> well, I, um, I'm going to give you a pasty for your tea. <laughs> um. I did a bean, 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 bean breville, right, and I filmed myself doing it and I posted it on here and somebody, it, it, it was, the way he said it though, saying that my curra needs to have a word, my curra. So I'm think and I'm starting to cast doubt in myself. And what what it was was with it being a, one of these brevels, you know, a brevel machine. Well, you lift up and it shows the lights. Now it's a sandwich toaster. I think that's the proper name for it. But they call it a brevel. And what you do is when it's all heated. And you put your toast on, you put, you do, you butter the bread and you put it, the, the um, butter side down and the top one, you butter your bread and the butter, you put it on top of the other one and the butter's the butter 
is on the top. So I'm thinking, have I done this wrong? I, I did start casting doubt in my mind. So I actually asked my mum, is that, are you sure that's the correct way? And I looked it up on the internet. And anyway, it's right. So, um, I don't know what he was on about or the person was on about. But anyway, not to worry, it's water under the bridge. If you would like me to show you a Breville making video, let me know and I'll do one. So I'm using my vegetable stock pots, which are these. They're not by no, but these are from these are Bramwells and they're a making alder. And um, sometimes I get the no ones. But I'll turn this down because I don't want things to burn. Um, I sometimes get the no ones, but you know. So I'm going to get the stock ready now. And the no ones are a lot more expensive than the brown ones. They're like well over a pound more. So this is a a cheaper alternative, but still does the same thing. Not that I'm calling no. No's great as well, if if you can afford <laughs> that kind of price. Okay. <laughs> So this is my stock, the Bramwell stock, <laughs> so it just needs a bit of mixing and eventually the lumps will disappear. If there's any lumps left when you do pour it in, um, then just put a bit more hot water in and that's all your lumps gone. Okay. So I'll put these potatoes in. Really, people put potatoes in first when they're making soup. But with sweet potato, because they're more, they're a bit different from a, a normal potato really. So I've just put it all in there. So it's, it looks like this. Right, so now I'm going to give it a bit of a stir and then I'll, I'll bang up the heat again. So I'll give it a stir using a wooden spoon. So I'm, I'm giving it a stir now, so if you want to see. It's looking a tiny, tiny bit like a stew, actually. But it won't when it's finished, isn't it? I mean... To make this, 
it, you, once I've put the stock on, in and I leave it to cook, it takes about 30 minutes. Put this stock in there. Now, oh, see, the, the, they've all gone, the lumps. So I don't need to put any more hot water in. And then I shall put it on number five. Oh dear. <laughs> Craziness in the kitchen. I've put it on number five. I'm going to put my lid on and let it cook. So it should take about, yeah, about half an hour. I'll just keep checking it. So later, when I do dinner time with me, which I'm, I'm going to do now, I will make it, excuse me, I shall make it my mission to do dinner time with me because I will be serving this. And hopefully, fingers crossed, it will be a success. I've never had any fault with my soups before, so I don't see why this would be any different. Okay, so I am gonna add some herbs and, and stuff um, later. Let me show you my rack, how I've remembered. So this is my rack. I got my dad to um, put it on the wall for me. <laughs> so, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, sorry I, um, I wasn't able to get everything in view, but I hope you've got an idea of what I was on about. <laughs> okay, so I'll see you in a bit for lunchtime with me. All right. Bye.